Hello everyone, in today's video we will approach towards the concept of black hole in a mathematical way. As we know there are mainly four types of black hole. The first one is the stellar black holes. These are formed from the collapse of massive stars and are a few times more massive than the sun. The second one is the supermassive black holes. These exist at the center of galaxies including our Milky Way and are millions or even billions of times more massive than the sun. The third one is the intermediate black hole, you know, which lie between stellars and supermassive black holes. These black holes are still mysterious as they fall in a mass range that hard to detect. And the final one is the predominant black holes. Hypothetical black holes that might have formed in the early universe due to the high density and are believed to be a, the smaller than stellar black holes. Black holes are one of the most fascinating objects in the universe, challenging our understanding of physics and promoting questions about the natures of time, space and fate of matters. A black hole is a reason in space where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light can escape from its pool. Why we every time hear that from black holes not even light can escape? Let's make it clear today in this video. The concept of black hole is one of the most interesting and startling product of modern gravitational theory. Yet the basic idea can be understood on the basis of Newtonian principles. With the help of our own sun, we will gonna know about the black hole. For the average density of the sun, think first about the properties of our own sun. Its mass equals 1.99 into 10 to the power 30 kg and radius equals 6.96 into 10 to the power 8 meters are much larger than those of any planets. But compared to other stars, our sun is not exceptionally massive. You can find the sun's average density in the same way we found the average density of the earth. The average density of the sun equals mass of sun over volume of sun, which is equals to 1410 kg per meter cube. Now think about the escape speed for a body at the surface of the sun. In case if you don't know what is escape speed, the escape speed is the speed required for the body to escape completely from a planet or a star. We found that the escape speed from the surface of the spherical mass capital M with radius capital R is equal to root under 2 times capital G which is gravitational constant times mass of the spherical body over radius of that spherical body. We can relate this formula even with the average density of the spherical bodies substituting mass of the spherical body which is equal to the density of the body times volume of the body and the above equations in concept of average density becomes root under 8 times pi times capital Z which is gravitational constant times rho which is the average density of that spherical body over 3. Using either form of these equations, you can show that the escape speed for a body at the surface of our sun is 6.18 into 10 to the power 5 meter per second, about 2.2 million kilometer per hour or 1.4 million mile per hour. This value is roughly 1 by 500 the speed of light. It is, in, is independent of the mass of the escaping body. It depends on only the mass and radius or average density and the radius of the sun. Now think, what if the sun escape speed becomes 6.18 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second instead of 6.18 into 10 to the power 5 meter per second? The answer is, its escape speed would become greater than the speed of light and not even light can escape from it. Such body is known as the black hole. So in a nutshell, 
अ ब्लैक होल इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट तो स्केप वेलोसिटी इज ग्रेटर देन द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट